Hey guys, what's up? Today is going to be a HO scale equipment and update, which is basically going to cover rolling stock and uh, freight cars. Um, the other updates of buildings and scenery, such as vehicles, that's going to be all in another update video. Just trying to kind of keep the length of the video down. So, all right, here's the first thing I'm going to show off to you today. It's my Bones Northern SD40. This is a new release from Atherin. It's a ready to roll. Picked this up in my hobby town. I paid retail for it, but I wanted it so much I kind of, <laughs> I kind of had to, and I kind of regret it. But I paid $134 for this before tax. But it's a pretty engine. Um, so let me start it up. It's Atherin, like I said. I've installed Soundtrack Tsunami in it, 645 Dakota uh, Prime Mover in it. So I've also had the Beacon working too. So let's fire it up. Alright, move on to the next locomotive now. This locomotive is going to be a uh, Chesapeake and Ohio Elko S4, number 5109. This engine was done by Dan's Custom Trains, along with this freight car right here. It's done by Dan's Custom Trains. Um, he doesn't have a website, and I've been urging him to get one just because his quality of work is so amazing. Now, as some of you don't know, this engine started out as a Bachman Sound Value, Pittsburgh and Lake Erie. Um, okay, it was cool. But I wanted to do it in the uh, tour street I volunteer volunteer with whenever I get the time. Um, I want to do it up as our engine, Chesapeake and Ohio number 5109, as it currently looks right now. So, this has sound, so let's fire it up. Got the address programmed in there. So he did a good job on that, so it's very nice. It's got really nice, um, move this back here. Headlights are very nice. It's got Rule 17 lighting. Bachman did a really good job with the headlights on this. As you can see, they're very bright. And he did an awesome job on the detailing of this. There's a lot of custom stuff done. All the paint jobs, everything, the uh, handrails, you name it, did an excellent job on painting, um, he had his stuff like, see if the zoom will cooperate with me here, as you can see there's uh, separately applied uh, lift rings, he actually formed all the uh, grab irons himself, he put a bell on and everything, so he did a really good job on this, so this engine is very nice, so, here's another engine I want to show off to you, this is a um, Atherin CF7, Okay, I've decorated this up in Cargill. You can tell the decals on the back. I was hoping it would be a white backing, but it ended up being a clear decal, and I put it on, and it kind of made the Cargill, which is normally white-orange, but I kind of like it. Um, along with that, it's got Cargill on the front, too, right underneath the number six. Um, this was a Troy and Northern for Mo a moderator's 75th anniversary. I left the patch on there, just because I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I... Uh, what did I do? I uh, removed all the decals from that just because I don't model that and I made it my elevator switcher. So let's fire this one up. And yes, it has an air whistle. It's a Hancock 4700 model. It's also a tsunami, by the way.
Let me get you closer in to show you this here. I'm gonna screw this from the tripod. Bear with me a sec. This isn't my normal camera, so I'm trying to experiment around with this. Alright. Let's see if I can get this level. Alright. This engine's got working class lights. We got the beacon and we got working green class lights. And that's something I did with micro bulbs, so I think that turned out pretty good. So my opinion that uh, Cargill CF7 turned out pretty cool. Um, here is a Indiana Harbor Belt. Um, uh, let me get the box. I don't even know what it is. SW1500. Um, this is a custom painted one. I got this at... Uh, where's the hobby shop I got this at? Dust Plains Hobby in Illinois. <laughs> one of the best stores I've ever been to. Model train stores. Super well stocked. Um, probably hundreds of locomotives there. Anything you need, they have it. Um, 40 bucks, I think, 40, 45, it's powered, it's a newer Ather motor in it, so it's good, it's blue box series, but, wow, very nice engine, um, they even painted the inside of the cab green, so that's, that's kind of cool, it doesn't have interior, but it's green, and that looks better than the unpainted plastic, so that runs in DC, so there's nothing really too much to show off of sounds or anything, because there is no sounds, but I'll eventually get sounds in it, so, that wraps it about, yeah. <laughs> That wraps it up for locomotives here. Um, behind us, we got. Right, let's get this guy out of the way. Um, we've got air slide hoppers. All right, I got a pair of those. I bought those from uh, Doug Tag sold. He sold off his Toledo terminal layout, which is going to be featured in a model railroader coming up here soon. I also bought a lot of buildings up from him. So I'll do a lot of that in my building update. There's a lot more to show in that. But these are the only two cars I got for him. From him. I got them from my Magic Pan Bakery industry, and I needed these, so they're basic, plain-looking cars, and that's the real. I like the cars like this; it's very realistic. Um, oh, I wrap it up for locomotive. Silly me! Look what I forgot back here. This bright orange South Shore GP38. This is an Atlas Trainman model. Picked this up for uh, $65 on uh, eBay, so pretty cool. Well, why South Shore? Well, I like South Shore, so. This is the pride and joy right now, one of my main projects I've been working on. Let me get this engine put down here. we got Nick D cars, single level EMUs. These are Island Model Works kits, if I can get it on the tracks here. Alright, need a lot of detailing still. Let me zoom out. There we go. Oh, adjust the camera. Alright. They're resin kits. They come like this, unpainted. Okay, cool. I did a lot of filing. you got to file all the windows. And not file them out like crazy, just like... It'll be like flash left over stuff. These are resin. Island Model Works. Made per order. Yes, right here in the United States. I will put a link in the description. Um, they make stuff that nobody else ever releases and nobody ever will release. Nobody else in plastic like Atherin will never release these. Why? Because South Shore is the only radio that has them. Very limited market. Big company is not going to release this because they wouldn't sell very good. So Island Model Works does a lot of commuter stuff like subway cars and stuff. And they keep their costs down by doing it per order and stuff. Um, check out their website guys they got some really good stuff uh, maybe if you wanted to model some subway stuff so this is eventually going to get a uh, butter DC drive frame stuff on it I'm going to have sound for it I got a sound decoder I'm currently have an order from Tsunami meant for a Atherin GP15 uh, Chicago Northwestern paint scheme why that because the CNW version for the GP15 and their Genesis line has a gong bell and a P3 air horn I would just end up muting the uh Diesel sound, so it'll just be quiet. And these cars are really quiet in real life. Um, one problem with these cars, and I appreciate anyone commenting below, don't tell me go to eBay or don't tell me about the Markle ones because I already know about the Markle ones. Panographs, okay, like these. I don't have panographs for these. These are single arm. This is a double arm. This is the only one I got. They're like $30 a piece. I need, I got two of these cars. I need four. It's like a hundred over a hundred dollars for panographs. I I don't want that. Um, I know Tyco in the past and actually Bachman. I'm sorry, released those E60s, um, those junk ones that were basically toys, and they had plastic panographs, and they actually went up and down, and they were actually pretty good. Um, if anyone's got any of those, they wouldn't mind selling or anything. Let me know. Maybe we could work out a deal. Um, I don't need them to be working. I just need panographs because the double armed one, yeah, it's cool, but they don't have double armed ones. They have single armed ones, and you can't just cut it apart and make. Single ones it doesn't work like that, but uh, 
Now the details are really nice on this, the molded details. Um, I put the gong bell on myself. The model came with molded and gong bells, but I put the details west one on. This one's been spray painted with a uh, what Model Masters uh, metalizer. It's a uh, stainless steel. Turned out very good. And I've got, uh, and the floor came out, but uh, yeah, it's not secured in there yet. Um, oh well, doesn't matter too much. Uh, this one's going to be the dummy car, by the way. And the other one's going to be a powered car. But anyways, I was talking about, it comes with decals. I've got multiple decals in here. This is the older style, and I got, uh, let's see if I can get them shifted around in here. I'll just pull them out and show you. Um, I've got multiple decals for these. These are the newer style, which I'm going to put on. These are the style from the 80s, but I like the newer ones better. So, All right, well, moving on. We got this South Shore car out of the way. That's pretty cool, though. Um, kind of a work in progress. There's windows included with the kit and everything. It's just I've been so far behind with my new job. Like I said, I uh, drive tow truck. And I'm working a lot, but I gotta pay the bills. This is a hobby, so it's gotta come second. Um, decaled this up. Yay! About time, right? My um, uh, three brothers Metro cab car. I still gotta work out, get the headlights um, cleaned out. But I just got these decals from Island Model Works. They sell them for the uh, Metro cars, and I had to do some custom fitting of them. I still need uh, diaphragms, but. No, it looks a lot better now, whether than if you look at some older videos, if this is just silver, and that looked kind of weird. So, that definitely turned out a lot better now. Um, got another, uh, let's move behind here. Those out of the way. There we go. I got a uh, Metra coach car from Cato. Got that at a uh, Dust Plains Hobbies. Also, it was in the used section. It was 45 bucks. Coach car. Not bad. All the pieces are included with it, and there's no damage. And my Soundtrack sound car sound decoder I put inside this cab car which I've been showing off a lot lately guys I really want people to buy this product um, I'm, it's just such an amazing product uh, the soundtrack sound car sound decoders they're just amazing um, like I, I've done videos on it before it really enhances your operating of trains um, so let's put one on the layout let's fire it up there we go and like I've showed off in previous videos. That was the brakes. We got stuff like couplers, coupler release. Generator for refrigerator cars or uh, power cars. And horn and bell. There's a lot of stuff you can do with different axles and, um, what is it, flat spots and wheels. You can enable that. So you can make them all sound totally different. You can adjust how often you want the flange squeal to go off. Guys, I'm very satisfied with this product. Um, there's not much information about these online right now, but... Definitely, the Soundtrack Tsunami Sound Car has really revolutionizing model wear roading, I think. I really think, in my opinion, this will be the next big thing. You put them about every four or five cars on a train, you've got an awesome... You not only got sound in your locomotive, but your freight cars. Wow. Or passenger cars. Uh, it's worth a try. It's worth a look, guys. It really is. Um, I'm going to be buying a lot more of these. Very impressed. Program is about, programming is about the same with the engines. And like I said, I've done a review video of this already. So I'm not going to go too much more in depth with this. But all right, guys. Well, this is going to wrap up this video of equipment, meaning engines and rolling stock. Um, stay tuned for detail, uh, another update of detail parts, uh, buildings. Um, what's the word? Uh, vehicles, stuff like that. So. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, thanks for being patient with me about the uh, update videos. Been busy at work, guys. Work comes before trains. And I hate to say it, but it's true. So, Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Like I said, stay tuned. So, take care.